disciples 20 years after the day of Pentecost. He had one question. Do you have the Holy Ghost? They said, we've never heard about this. How were you baptized? John, my God, John said, I'll baptize you with water for repentance, but stay believing on him that is on Christ Jesus. And he will baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire and power. And he laid his hands on him, and all twelve spoke in tongues and prophesied instead of prophesying. Come on, somebody. Come on. We are releasing that joy, that fire to come through these airways. Come on up. We're going to pray for the online audience right now. Thank you, Jesus. And then right after this prayer, we'll uh, turn it out to some final worship and anything you'd like to share. Too. You want to share right now? Come on. I just want to share. Yeah. You guys. You guys don't know me, but I came Did out. Did anybody know how to play while she's doing it? I came out of the <laughs> Jesus movement, and um, believe it or not, um, somebody brought up the scripture that the Lord foreknew us before before time. Jeremiah one five. Okay, yes, that's my, that was my scripture. Before I was even uh, born, my father actually knew who I was. He actually took it. my mother was pregnant in those days. They didn't know how. What you were going to have. Don't leave yet. i got to tell you something. Don't you dare me. Just stay right here. This is for you. I just want to. Anyway, I'm going to skip that right now. I'm going to tell you an experience I had out of the Jesus movie that brought me into the Jesus movement. Uh, I was born in a very uh, bad home. I didn't have a father. Like I said, my father knew who I was before I was born. He had a picture of me and, and showed me as a little girl. And when I was four years old, that was me. I had a picture of me. My dad knew who I was before I was born. He got killed in the uh, Korean War. And so he, for, he knew who I was before I was born. But I have lived in a very bad state because my mom was so upset and so uh, sad that my dad had gotten killed that we had a very bad childhood. My mother was married several times. And so I got into the hippie. Remember the hippie movement, you guys? I was one of the biggest hippies there ever was. Come I wore, on. I wore beads. You didn't meet me. Sand. <laughs> oh, where were you? I was in San was, Diego. I was, yeah, yeah. I was <laughs> hippie out there somewhere. So anyway, I was down in San Diego you know, doing my thing and everything. And um, I was married to, out of, uh, I was married when I was really young to a man named Jimi Hendrix. Great. By the way. <laughs> you know, were you experienced? <laughs> no, he was a brother from another mother. Okay. But anyway, this is what happened. I started, you know, experimenting with drugs and different things like that. And this one particular night, and I just want to share this with you because I had so much pain that I needed that kind of, I needed that whole field in my life. Mm. You know, I needed, I needed to drink. I needed to. I didn't really like pot. I liked to be speeded up. You know, like I really didn't like pot. But, but this particular night, I actually took something that was over the counter that they told you would hallucinate. Okay, you cause you hallucinations. So, and I, all of a sudden, I thought, oh, I wish I'd never done this. And I just, I was just freaking out. And I went back <clears throat> to uh, my room, and I, and I was laying in my bed, and I was feeling so sick. And all of a sudden, all this, all, I'm laying on my bed, and all of a sudden, these sandals appear, and this glowing, beautiful white gown and this man wow. stood in front of me mm. and it was Jesus. Mm. Mm. I fell down as dead. I mean, I got mm. on my knees and I said, dear Lord, I'll never do this again. I'll never take anything. I want you to fill that void in my life. I want you mm. to fill everything I need and replace everything. And it took me a while to, to get through all that. But I'll tell you, I was never the same. And so, if you're going through testings and trials for drugs or alcohol, when it when you get that temptation, just cry out to him and ask him, you fill me, you fill me with that. Yes. And he will. He will. And if you blow it, just forget that you blew it because he loves you. Yes. And I'm here to tell you, he knew you. You wouldn't be sitting here. He knew you way before he made the earth. Right. Wow. And he knew you were going to have pain. And he knew you were going to suffer. Mm -hmm. But you know what? He wants to fill that void. Yes. And so when you blow it, mm -hmm. or when you need it, just cry out to him. Yes. And you're going to make it something.
sometimes, and you may blow it sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you may make it sometimes and you blow it, but pretty soon it will get easier and easier. Yes. And you'll become, you'll start building those muscles as a warrior, a soldier for God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So I just wanted to tell you that. Amen. Okay? I mentioned at the beginning of this, I've been dead twice, and when I crashed my motorcycle, they canceled Life Flight and put a sheet over me. And the next thing I know, there's a big Indian praying for me because his wife made him say, come on, wives. Come on, wives. <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, that's how all my ribs got broke, because I wake up to this guy with almost 400 pounds. You will live and not die. He's mad at his wife. I told you he was dead, but you will live and die. <laughs> and I came back, and I went to the ICU, and I ended up looking like that broken neck, nose, cheek, staples, 300 stitches. I was a mess, and God gave me these verses, and I want to share these verses, and then we're going to pray for you right now. You can just keep playing wherever you are playing back there. Right. Joel 2.25 and 6, God will restore. That word restore is shalem. God will touch your situation with His Holy Spirit, wherever the canker worm, the palmer worm, the locust, the crawling locust, all the devils of hell chewing away at your life. God is about to restore you and make it better than it was before. And it says that he's dealing with the remnant. Oh, God's radical wife. Come on. Remnant. Remnant. Come on. He's dealing with the remnant wondrously. So you look up that word in the Hebrew, and it means when the Holy Spirit touches your deal, even though it's impossible, he makes it possible. So guys, let's all stretch our hands, everybody. Yeah. Come on in right in here and get close. Would you like to jump up? Because we are stretching our hands like I did when I was five years old. And my leg grew back when all Roberts prayed, but we're stretching our hands. And we decree and we declare in the matchless name of Jesus that every curse, every vex, every hex, every incantation, word curse, iniquity, bloodline curses, all of it that has blocked you and stuck you in the name of Jesus. Tonight, today, right now, as you watch this, even on the rerun, the blood, the cross, in the name of Jesus, that's an axe from heaven swinging, cutting off the tentacles of what's come against your life. Come on. In Jesus' name, when the enemy comes in like a blood, the Spirit of the Lord raises a standard. When the enemy comes in, the Holy Ghost stops what's attacking you, picks you up and carries you to promotion. Come on. And if you want that in your home, touch your device, nod your head, say yes, Jesus. Say help, Jesus. Help, Jesus. Okay, make a declaration. Every one of us just prophesied. So I decree also, not only do you know the Lord Jesus because you said save me, but now you're saying with the Holy Ghost. Give me that prayer language. In Jesus. Father, we thank you right now for lives being transformed. We thank you for lives being transformed by your presence. Father, we thank you for those who don't know you right now coming to a revelation of the kingdom of God. Right in their home, Lord Jesus. I thank you right now for your touch cards. Right now, Jesus. I thank you for healing to bring out right now in their hearts. Right now in their hearts. Right now in their hearts. Yes, yes, Lord. Healing in Jesus. Lord, your word says that signs and wonders and miracles follow those who believe. And we believe, Lord. We pray for those people online, Lord. Those who, who need to hear. Who need to hear the message, Lord. We pray right now, Jesus, that for healing over there. Miracles, whatever, financial, restoration and relationship, God. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Bless them. Strengthen, Lord. Increase the fire and the desire, a hunger and thirst for you, God. But then increase. And then increase in Jesus' name. Pastor Perry, I think the last time I was here, the Lord had 
laid Jeremiah 33 3 for you. You remember what that meant? What the Hebrew is? So I reiterate it this time. And anybody watching that needs this, but listen to what this says. He says, Ask and I'll show you great and mighty things that you don't know. It's things that you need to do what you need to do. But he says, When you ask, I will show us the word yada. So he brings us into such a place of intimacy that there's no room for confusion, distraction, anything. All of a sudden, your focus is focused. And then that that's out of your sight, you see. That that's below the surface comes up. Come on. That that's out of your reach comes into your reach. And then the Spirit of God is released to give you breakthrough on a level that you've never known. In Jesus' matchless name. And if that sounds like something you need watching, you better grab it. Amen. Yeah. Bill says if it fits, the shoe fits, you better wear it. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to say? Okay. Are we good? Did you just yeah. what you close the time? Oh, said that Jesus was born in in oh. and it's I N N, not I N. Yeah. So I N N in his care you can go on um, and just uh, you can check our our Facebook out and the services and uh, we're gonna be doing some school of ministry. We're gonna be taking uh, soldiers out and on the job training in, in the missions on the streets and then also mm. uh, doing classes on renewing the mind, our authority a lot of stuff that God's put on our heart yeah. to really impart into, into people mm-hmm. and build up warriors, build up soldiers, uh-huh. people that don't do their own thing, but they're yeah. dead and they, they take orders. I don't mean dead, you know, it's like we're, we're not suicidal here. I'm <laughs> saying we're dead, dead to the flesh yeah. and we're alive yeah. to Jesus, Galatians wow. 2.20. Amen. Amen. So that Amen. way we're not doing our own thing. So a disciple is a disciplined follower. There's a lot of believers. But the discipleship is different, or a Christian is different. People say, well, this Christian did this to me. No, they didn't. They might have been a believer, but a Christian wouldn't do that. Oh, they mis- they, mis- they, mis- they misrepresented God oh, because a Christian means yeah. that you're Christ-like. Oh, and if you're not doing the things that Christ did, then you're not a Christian. You may be a believer. Jesus. Yeah, maybe, come on. maybe a weak believer. Maybe a milky believer. Maybe somebody just got saved. We go to heaven based on what Jesus did. Thank God. Not what we did. Amen. But, if, but if you get there and you're just standing around in your underwear and that's all you got, you got no rewards. You didn't have much love for Jesus. Your rewards are based on how much you love Him. Yes. But salvation is based on how much He loved you. Yes. Come on. Well, we just thank you for this time tonight. We thank you for your presence. Lord, I just thank you for these old soldiers that are so mighty, Lord, that are just imparting and encouraging. Lord, I speak life, Lord, into their physical bodies to keep going, to keep ministering, to keep, Lord, destroying the works of hell everywhere they go. We lift up Bill. We lift up all these mighty saints. Lord, they're mighty, mighty, mighty Chris and the things that you're doing with him and his wife and all these ones, Lord. I just declare, Lord, your divine will, every crooked way being made straight. For each and every one of us, Lord, tonight, your glory, turning those keys in our heart. Lord, thank you for what you did in my heart tonight. I just worship and praise you. Amen. Amen. Amen.